Good morning, Old City. Today is A-Day, Wednesday, March 4th, and these are your morning announcements. Math and Physics Club is going to host a Pi Day Pi K on Saturday, March 14th. This Pi Day is special because the first five digits of Pi match exactly with the date. The next five digits are 92653, and we will be starting at the race at 926.53 a.m. If you would like to register, the cost is $20, and you will get a t-shirt, water, banana, and a small pie, and get to take part in a one-of-a-kind race. For more information, see Mr. Wolf or Mr. Harriet, or go to www.ocasd.org and click on the Pi Day Pi K link. If you would like to volunteer to help to earn community service hours the day of the race, see Mr. Harriet room 14. Breaking news, if you pay to enter the Pi Day Pi K race and complete the race on March 14th, that will count as your final exam cardio for your physical education class. So if you want to get your physical education final exam cardio taken care of early, sign up, show up, and dominate on March 14th. The class of 2015 picture will be taken Friday, March 6th at the end of 10th period. PM Votech students will be dismissed early from Tech to come up for the picture. Here are the Votech students of the week. And this week is James Johnson. Jarrett Tenney, February 9 through 13. Kane Bemis, January 5 through 9th. Are you ready for the Battle of the Books? Come to the library after school this Thursday, March 5th, to determine who is the ultimate book champion. We will be answering trivia questions based on The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Refreshments will be provided. Spring is just around the corner and the Courtyard Garden Project is ready to sprout. We need a large crop of student volunteers to get this project planned. If you have a desire to help, please come to a very short informational meeting Thursday, March 5th during 10th period in the library. If anyone is interested in creating an activity brochure for the oil region, please see Mr. O'Brien in room one. It will be shared throughout the community through the Venango Chamber of Commerce and the Oil Region Alliance, as well as many other businesses in the area. If you are interested in going to college for journalism, English, computer graphic design, or anything else, this will be great on a resume. We highly recommend that you take this opportunity to support your local community by volunteering some of your time. For any other questions, or if you're interested, please see Mr. O'Brien in room one to sign up. And now for your thought of the day, as Melody Beattie once said, the new year stands before us. Like a chapter in a book waiting to be written, we can help write that story by setting goals. Please stand for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day! Go get them, Oilers!